Hello, it's Jeff Sauer here, and I just wanted to talk to you about the new way of setting up conversion tags for AdWords in Google Tag Manager and just show you how things work in the new interface. So I'm in the new AdWords interface, as you can see here, and we are in the conversions tab. That's what we're taking a look at right now. And I have several conversions coming and going through. This is a brand new campaign, and it's really just experimenting. It's a sandbox for us to test different features. And so we have AdWords conversions set up. We have analytics conversions coming in. And I actually had some trouble with my AdWords conversion tracking, and here's why. So if you go into any web page and you set up a conversion, you choose website, that's what we're going to call traditional AdWords conversion tracking. That's different than importing your goals from another system. I've already set this up. And in here, there's the tag. So if you look at here, it says you need to put a global site tag on your site, which is gtag.js. And then if you look below, whenever somebody happens, whenever they go to your thank you page or your conversion page, you need to put this code on your site. And this code has two parameters in there. And they might look familiar to you if you've been using AdWords conversion tracking for a long time. But there's really no context as to what these things mean. Like in the past, in the old interface, Google is pretty exhaustive in saying that this is your conversion name and your conversion label. And now they're just putting numbers in there and expecting you to do it without any documentation. And so I talked to the team at Google and I said, well, how does this translate to your tag templates in Google Tag Manager? And so if we go into Google Tag Manager and we look at something that I've set up for a conversion, basically the conversion ID and the conversion label are corresponding to the two different parameters that are in the AdWords tag in the new interface. Basically, if you can take those two parameters, your ID and your label, if you can put these in here and assign whatever value you like and set up your triggers like you would do for any other campaign tag, you can get the same effect as using the gtag.js as well as the event tag that they mentioned in AdWords. So now the way that you want to tag your site for AdWords is you either put this tag on every single page of your site and then you put the page load tag on your thank you page or whenever somebody hits your thank you page you do that on your page to manually tag or if you're using Google Tag Manager you can still use the AdWords tag template and all you need to do is put in the ID and the label. Now you put that out there and you test your transaction to make sure that this tag fires properly on the right trigger, then you will have set up your AdWords conversion in the way that you should be setting it up moving forward. And so that's how you can make your conversion tags work in Google AdWords with the new interface, as well as if you're using Google Tag Manager. Now I suspect many of you out there are confused as to how this works. So that's why I put together this quick video just to give you the idea as to how this all comes together. So thanks so much, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts and comments in our blog post.